Hello there guys and welcome back to another Epic in Extra Maths video. In this video we're looking at differentiating the inverse function of tan x, tan to the minus 1x, octan of x, however you prefer to write it, that's what we're looking at differentiating today. The differentiation of octan of x is rather similar to the differentiation of arc sine and arc cos of it's very similar. It uses a slightly different formula at the end, but I would definitely recommend watching those two videos. I will leave a link to both of them in the description below to check those out. If you've already seen them or if you haven't, if you know how to differentiate arc sine and arc cos, then we can dive straight in to this video. So the first thing, as always, is we define y to be arc tan of x, inverse tan. Okay, this is all we want to find dy dx. We, it would be nice to have an equation that says what y is. y is inverse tan of x. What's dy dx? That's the point of this video. So like always, we will take the inverse function of the arctan because we don't know how to differentiate arctan right now. We don't know what it is. So it's completely useless to try and just explicitly differentiate right now. So let's take the tan on both sides to remove the arctan from the problem. So we take the tangent function on both sides. So we say tan y is equal to tan of inverse tan of x, right? Simply taking the tan of both sides. This means that some things simplify very nicely. Tan of y is equal to tan of inverse tan of x. By definition, these are inverse functions. Whatever arctan is doing to x, tan is undoing it, and therefore this just leaves us with f. This is basically f of inverse f of x. It's always x. It doesn't matter what the function is. It's always true. So now we have this equation. Tan y is equal to x. So how do we deal with this? Well, like always, we do the same thing. So we're going to implicitly differentiate both sides. The way that we do that, if we have a function of y, is we pretend that this is a function of x and we differentiate like we normally would. And then we multiply every time, every term that has the y in it, by dy dx. So the derivative of tan, you might know, you might not know, the derivative of tan is sec squared of, well the derivative of tan x is sec squared of x, so the derivative of tan y is sec squared of y, and because y is a function of x we need to use the chain rule, and that's where the timesing by dy dx comes from. Again, I'll also leave a link to the implicit differentiation video in the description to check that out. Why do we do this? Okay, and then we differentiate the right-hand side with respect to x. The derivative of x with respect to x, of course, is nothing other than just the number 1. Awesome. Then what we do is we divide both sides by sec squared x. And this gives us 1 over sec, or sec squared y, sorry. This gives us the sec squared y down here. You might be tempted to say, no, 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 just times by cos squared y. True, absolutely. This on the right-hand side is cos squared y. 1 over 1 over cos squared y is cos squared y, 100%. Don't do that, though. Don't do that. You might be tempted to, but just leave it like this for the time being. So just like how with sine and cos, there's this definition, there's this, there's this formula we can use, which says sine squared of any variable that you want plus cos squared of the variable is identical to 1. There is an equivalent formula that says that 1 plus tan squared of let's say y, that is identical to sec squared of y. This is a formula. And I'll, I'll do a video in the future deriving this formula. It's not too bad to derive. Um, but this essentially just comes from the same formula. Sine squared plus cos squared um, equals 1. Just dividing everything by cos squared, you can clearly see here, uh, you, you just get this formula, which is very nice. And what this means is we can replace sec squared y up here with 1 plus tan squared y because they're the same thing. So we can say that dy dx is equal to 1 over not sec squared y, but 1 plus tan squared y. And this is very nice because we know what y is y, we've already defined it to be arctan of x, inverse tan of x. That's the definition of, of, of what y is. So what we can say now is that dy dx is simply 1 over 1 plus tan squared of inverse tan 
of x like this and this is glorious this is brilliant because this simplifies very very nicely tan of arctan of x again is just one and then it is being squared so because of the fact that it's being squared we take tan of arctan of x then we square it i know it looks like you might square the tan but you can't do that you have to take the you have to take the tan of arctan of x which is x then square it that time there gives you x squared so what you get left over with is one over one plus just x squared like that and that is it that's the derivative of arctan of x this is a great derivative it's absolutely brilliant um it looks a little bit similar to the arc sine and arc cos ones in, to an extent there's a plus sign there instead of a minus and there's no square root so it is slightly different this is really useful for for multiple reasons it's a really 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 helpful integral um to know about as well the integral of one over one plus x squared therefore is arctan of x plus c so it's really helpful for integration as well because this does come up a lot but in general it's a really really cool uh, derivative I think so that is the derivative of inverse tan of x it's 1 over 1 plus x squared thank you guys so much for watching I highly appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video cheers